Hi everyone, welcome to the Camp Channel. This is Xue Hang. In tutorial five, we talked about how to make a two-lateral device, and in tutorial four, we showed how to calculate the energy density. In this tutorial, we will further show you how to properly report the energy density and power density of the device and compare the value with literature. In tutorial four. We already showed how to calculate the energy density and power density of a two-electrode device. In brief, E equal to 1 over 2 CV square only works for the linear-shaped GCD curve, and integral current and voltage works for all shapes of GCD curve. For one energy density, there is one corresponding power density, and the power density equal to the energy over the discharge time. Ragoni plot is a curve plot, the energy and power density of various energy storage devices. For example, here, the energy and power range of typical electrochemical energy storage devices, including different ion batteries, solid state battery, and capacitor, can be clearly compared in one curve. So usually the value of the specific energy are plotted with specific power and the X and Y label can also be converted into what hour per liter and what per liter to reveal the volumetric information. Both the X and Y axis should be logarithmic. We can also compare the performance of our work with commercialized device. However, such comparison may not be fair because what we have calculated is the energy density and power density based on the active material. But the commercialized device includes package, binder, current collector, electrolytes, and separator. So the commercialized device shows much lower energy density compared to the energy density of the active material. One close approach is to multiply a factor of 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 to the value of the energy and power density of the active material to compensate the mass of the inner material of the electrodes. The gray dashed line on the Ragoni plot means the time to fully charge or discharge the device. So when this gray dashed line is given on the Ragoni plot, it shows very clearly that the charge and discharge of a supercapacitor can be achieved within seconds to minutes range, while for a battery, it takes several minutes to several hours to charge and discharge. One can also report the energy density and power density of the active material and compare with other devices reported in the literature without plotting the Ragoni plot. In this case, there are several suggested ways. The first way is to list the maximum energy density and the maximum power density. Maximum energy density is usually achieved with a small current density, and a maximum power density is reached with a large current density. Reporting in this way will certainly show the limitation of the device. The second way is to plot the energy density as a function of scan rate, current density, or power density. This way certainly gives more instinct comparison than the first methods. The problem is that not all the literature reports the energy density at different scan rates or power density. Method 1 and method 2 sometimes may cause unfair comparison as well. That is because the type of the device, the electrode thickness, and the mass loading of the active material strongly influence the energy and the power density of the active material. So it would be better if all the parameters of the devices can be listed in one table for a clear and fair comparison. As you may notice that we may turn our channel only on Sunday. The video in our eCam channel are completely free and only for educational purposes and knowledge distribution. Subscribe us and like our videos will certainly motivate us. If you have any questions, suggestions, or find anything that conflict of interest in any type, just leave us some comments. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.